Bolet is common in the Philippines. It's a duck egg that's been fertilized, so a duckling is growing inside. Then, a couple weeks before it hatches, you cook it. You peel away the shell and eat the yolk, the white, and the duck embryo. You eat everything. The bones, feathers, feet, beak, eyeballs. What's it taste like? Let's go to the tape. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna eat this. It is a duck embryo, partially grown, uh, boiled like a hard-boiled egg in its shell. You can see the shell at the bottom there. Uh, it's a very popular street food in the Philippines, and I've been very curious to try it, and the moment has come. Uh. Oh! 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 Kind of eggy, kind of meaty, kind of... Uh, I don't know. Earlier that day, I got to try a bunch of other Filipino foods. Hey everyone, this is David. This is Madeline. We are at Leland Bakery and Cafe. We're in Eagle Rock, California. I've never had Filipino food in my life. This one over here, she's Filipina. So I thought I wanted to try some stuff. Who better to guide me through the experience? Uh, Madeline did all the ordering. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to try it. Um, there's some interesting things here. We're going to see how it goes. Madeline, what is this called? Pansit palabak. It's a noodle dish. Noodles! And there's an egg on it. Yeah, there's an egg, uh, some kind of gravy, I'm not really sure. Um, like a clear noodle underneath. And I forget what this is, something deep fried. Oh, chicharron. Oh, okay, so um, um, pigskin. Pigskin, yeah. It's really good. It's super salty, I can tell. So it's just deep fried. Um, I don't know, I don't forget what part of the pig, but maybe the belly, maybe not, because there's skin on it too. But it's, this, it's this just... This part's the skin. And then... This part's the skin, and this part is the tasty goodness. Very crunchy. I forget what things are. It tastes like the best part of fried chicken, which is like the skin and the, mm -hmm. the, skin and the batter. Calamansi juice which is made out of like a, it looks like a lime, or like a little little lime or a little orange, and it's sour. Good, huh? Super good. <laughs> On a it's hot like, day. Yeah, it's like lemony or limey, mm -hmm. but then it also kind of tastes super sweet, like a melted popsicle. Mm -hmm. Pinak. Pinak. Bet. Bet. Yes, Pinak Bet. Bet. It's also got shrimp bagong in it, and which is like it's a condiment kind of. Um, is that the little the pink, little pink little things? Yeah. Shreds? Uh huh. It's just basically, well, as a kid, I used to call it rotten fermented shrimp. It tastes better than it smells. This, it's called bitter melon. I actually like it. It's kind of an acquired taste. You know, I've never tried it, but I've just You've seen I've it seen it as in like the store. a. I've seen it in the store, and yeah. I've seen it as a basket ingredient on chopped bitter melon. Ooh. <laughs> it's bitter. Calamansi. Yeah, I think I need to. Yeah. The first few bites, it just tastes like squash, and then right. like, then it like, hits. The and back then it of hits. your tongue. And yeah. it is super bitter. And the purple thing is like the sh more shrimp brine, or bagong, they call it, and pork, of course. And it's just a salty, fatty goodness. Oh, so, so that, that's like so it's like fat right it's there. like this over here, but cooked differently. But yeah, with like sauce. Very tender. It's been you can tell it's been cooked for like hours. Mm. I need some rice with that. The sauce is good. It sort of reminds me of pot roast. This right here. This is the one that. Dina Guan. Chocolate meat. Dina Guan. Dinu Guan. Dinu Guan. This is pig entrails or intestines that have been cleaned and washed and prepped and then they are cooked in pig's blood. Is, did I get that right? Right. That's correct. Big spoonful, chocolate meat, and rice. I'm kind of nervous. No, you like pig. it. It's really good. Yeah. I would eat this every day. <laughs> A little chewy. There's some parts that are chewy. That's a good sentence. There are some parts that are chewy. <laughs> okay, we got hollow hollow, which translates, I just learned, to mix, mix, and 
what's in that mix. Mm. It kind of looks like a parfait. On the top, we've got um, ube ice cream. Ube is like a, like a yam. Uh, we've got half and half. Sometimes they put condensed milk. And then inside, <clears throat> all kinds of little tasty things like little gelatin squares. Uh, Macapuno, which is like a coconut, young coconut. Um, but it's a beans. There's beans. Oh, yeah. And there's lots of sugar and syrup. <laughs> and beans for yeah. dessert. Yeah. Go ahead. We've got some beans in there. Some Rice Krispies. Tasty? It is. The beans and it's very sweet, but beans in there, like texturally, is very weird. Mm -hmm. I guess you need a lot of sweetness after a meal of pork fat and <laughs> bitter melon. <laughs> Thank you, Madeline. Madeline runs stair races with me. You see her in my blog all the time, and I'll see her on Saturday at the next race. Adios. Keep it up, David. <laughs>